the program, the application by itself will recognize it and here is the model. You just click save and close this window. So we're done with this configuration. If you want to check that everything works fine, you go back to preference, go to dynamics and click on test. See if, if everything works properly. Now if your Windows firewall prompted you to allow this program, allow access. So Dynamics successfully started. If it didn't start uh, successfully, you need to run your GNS3 with administrative access. Meaning, when you want to start this GNS3 program, you right click on the folder and run uh, on the shortcut on the desktop and run as administrator. Sometimes it needs administrative uh, access. So here is GNS3. Uh, this is the environment. So this is the place that you bring in your topology. You build up your topology. And here is a summary of this topology. So you see that here all the different uh, series of router. These are all the different Cisco routers. If you need, you want, you can bring in a PIX firewall also, or if you want to work with Juniper routers, here is the router. But as I told you before, yes, as I told you before, you need to have the operating system for that particular router that you want to use. So in this case, I have the image for router C7200. You see, if I want to use and uh, use any other router that I don't have the image for that. If you drag and drop it here, you will get this error message. So you get this error message saying that you don't have the platform for this or iOS for this platform. So the only router that I can use now is this router C7200. I drag and drop it here. So here is one router. I'm going to bring another router. Here is a second router. If you want to connect these two routers, you can click on the links here, add a link. The type of link that you want to use, for example, I'm going to use a serial link between these two routers. So click on the first router and then second router. In this way, the uh, application itself automatically chooses the uh, interface for you. But if you don't like this, you can right click on, this, uh, on the router and uh, you go to configure router 1 slots and here you can add the slot that you want so that you have all the slots and uh, for example the interfaces the ports that you can later connect them to the other routers okay now these two routers are connected to each other so I can start these routers one by one Because GNS3 uses a lot of resources of your system, I recommend that you uh, start these routers one by one. And then at the same time, start your task manager, performance. Look at here. You see, when I started my first router, the processor has gone on 83, more than 83, the percentage of usage. So. I need to bring this down because, down because if I start the other router, I'll get the same problem and uh, your processor uh, will be busy 100% and it won't allow you to work uh, comfortably. So for this purpose, you right click on the router that you have started, click on idle PC. Here it creates an idle PC for you so that it uses less resources of your system. So we have to wait so that it calculates the idle PC for us. Now here is the list. Some of these numbers that you see here, idle PCs, might have a star next to them. If the one that has a star, uh, I mean, if uh, you saw that one of them has a star next to that, choose that one because that one is the best idle PC value. So here, there is nothing, so I choose the first one. Press OK and OK. So I need to look at my CPU usage. It hasn't come down yet, so I have to do it again. 
So you'll do this um, for the second time so that it calculates another idle PC. I need to do this uh, to bring down this processor. So this time you see the fifth one has a star next to that so I want to choose this one and press OK and OK. Now again the processor hasn't come down so I'm going to repeat this again. Okay, this time you see that I calculated another idle PC and this time the processor has come, the percentage of usage of the processor has come down. But uh, since I'm recording and a lot of things, of course my processor is uh, higher at this moment, the percentage of usage. So now I'm going to start the second router. But since it's it going to eat up my processor at this time, I'm not going to start this one. I'm just going to show you how to get access to the console of this router. Then later on your system, you can start the second router and, and uh, see how you can do all the configurations and work with this. So to get access to the console of the router, to the command prompt, to the command line of the router, right click on that router that you have started and click on console. Alternatively, you can do this from this uh, toolbar on top alright so here I need to click uh, I need to, uh, press enter and you see sometimes you see all the uh, procedures for startup meaning load, uh, loading the operating system and all those stuff so in this case I didn't get that now you see I'm in the uh, I've got access to the command prompt of uh, my router I'm in the user mode at the moment so I can move to privilege mode global configurations and you see you can do anything that you want with this router like a real router when I press question mark I can see uh, all the commands that are available for that uh, uh, mode which is a global configuration in this case Okay, so this is a way that you can install GNS3 and you can connect your routers and get access to the operating system of the router. Uh, at the same time, if you want to bring in some uh, switches, you can use this either switch router or ATM switches. Or if you want a normal switch, this Ethernet switch. For this one you don't need to have any operating system so easily you can just drag and drop it in and you connect your routers or any other PC that you want to this. So that's the way that you install configure your GNS3. I hope this has been informative to you and thank you for watching.